What is it? So this is a 1920s powered glider um, converted to capacitor power. So you got the little man sitting there. Well, we can't see him. Oh, there we go. Little man, he's controlling it. And we've not flown this. So this is, yeah, this is the man's flight. I just pointed nose down and just glided into the wind. Yeah, that's not half bad. All right, you want to hold it up here so you're braced against it. I don't know how you disengage from this and we still haven't figured all that part out. Yeah. I think if you brace your fingers against that, but watch out, you're going to get smacked by the prop. All right, get back over here so we can... Yeah, you're still going to get smacked. Oh, are we not charging? I guess not. Lawn moment over. Helps if you have batteries. It may need more power. And so we've moved up to a higher voltage setup. Look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh. There we go. Ooh, why did it do that? Oh, you ornery thing. Oh, yeah. Wee. So, on the last flight, um, this airplane broke both wings off, so we added more dihedral. And hopefully that will make it behave, because it's making me mad. <laughs> Let's see what it does. That's a patch of lift. Whew.
All right, so we went to a slightly more powerful motor here. This is a, um, what is a 7x20, but it's a 1 ohm motor, which is decently hot at that size. And so that gives it a little more power. Um, let's see, what modifications did we make? Uh, we added a little bit more dihedral at first. Yeah, it was uh, it was going really wonky. One thing that uh, was a contributor is the CG was right uh, about here, uh, very far forward, and I thought that was okay, so we rolled with it. And uh, you know, even after adding dihedral, it was really finicky. So if you, uh, yeah, there you turn go. Turn around, you'll see there's lead on the back. And so what that does is that allows you to shift the CG aft. Well, that shifts the CG aft and allows you to use less up elevator. Um, and it reduces the moment arm of your vertical tail so that the dihedral begins to dominate the uh, vertical tail's behavior. So you get a little better spiral stability. And that was what really made the trick. Um, if you were to do yeah. this rubber powered, it may not be as big a issue. Yeah, bigger propeller um, basically bigger propeller, blanks out you know. the larger fin. So it's one of those things that it's also the, you know, for this airplane, how light it is. This is a pretty heavy uh, capacitor unit setup yeah. that we have on the front. So it's, There was a guy that did a geared, uh, like, park zone vapor setup on one of these, so much bigger prop. Yeah. And I suspect, I've not seen any videos, I suspect it flew pretty well. Uh, he had less dihedral, and so, who knows? Yeah. Uh, but it does fly well in wind when you get everything trimmed out. Uh, the rigging is functional and loose in a few places, but the bottom line is we use the rigging to force the warps uh, to where we wanted them. And yeah, one of them I saw, can you hold this? They, um, they stuck stuff, a uh, piece out here on the yeah. wingtip. And we never did put the they, tip skids um, on it either. Yeah, it was like a tip skid, but it also helped kind of hold up the, the wing a little bit. Yeah, and they then put he, the rigging all the way to the tips. The, weight, the rigging to the tips. And That's so, cheating. Um, you know that that can also help. You know, get it to fly. Um, it builds together very quickly, um, but it's one especially of those things, when you have all the parts laser yeah, cut. But it's one so. of those things that you know it was it was a little finicky to get to to trim. Yeah. So we'll put a part set up on the website so you can have the uh, cute little guy. Yes. Because. I mean, you know, that's the part, that's the hard part to make. Everything else you can make from scratch, but the little guy is kind of special. So, anyway, what do you think? I think it flies good now that we got it all situated. Um, yeah. It's one of those things I think we both about gave up on it. <laughs> I was ready to stomp that plane. The yeah. oh, okay, so full disclosure, uh, our 10th our anniversary was very recently. Yes. And she had been bugging me for this airplane for a long time. She wanted this airplane. I asked all of our contractors. Like two to... years ago, she started bugging me for this plane, and I didn't get around to it. And um, so 10th anniversary is coming up, and I needed something special. There were other special things, yes, not just did, an airplane. We did get away for, by ourselves, so it was it was more than no just kids. an airplane. Um, yeah. But, uh, yeah, this was one of her anniversary gifts. And... Uh, I think it's uh, yeah i was afraid it was starting to be a disappointment there for a bit but uh, i think it's turned out rather well i think yeah. i think this one will be making some regular flying i, I shouldn't say that it's just all all up to you it's your yeah. airplane you build it yeah. i just drafted it up on a computer <laughs> so all right well, we'll see y'all see ya Hi, I'm Josh Finn. This is Hope. We are J&H Aerospace. If you like this video, hit the like button. Also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.